Hey everyone, I'm Kelly Campbell, they, them pronouns, and I'm going to try to keep this succinct because I keep on doing these videos and making them way too long. So this is another attempt. Um, I'm also going to be doing, instead of a slideshow, I have some actual physical photos. Wow. So uh, I'm going to mostly kind of talk about my main proximal processes that um, have created the development of myself, which I think mostly are um, kind of where I grew up and how I grew up in Southern California, Orange County in the 80s and 90s, uh, kind of finding and developing and embracing my queerness and gender fluidity. And then finally, actually, what's really important is theater and art in my life. So again, I'm Kelly Campbell, I'm 36 years old, I'm white, genderqueer, gender fluid, pansexual, born to a middle class family, um, college educated, nature lover, performer, artist, and professional puppeteer. It me. I grew up in a white lower middle class family um, who strived to keep up with the Joneses in Southern California. We lived in Irvine, California, which is mostly a white affluent planned city. It's called that. They plan it all where you have to paint your house by the color palette they approve of, and yet kids can uh, roam freely, kind of like the Goonies, and ride their bikes until the sun goes down. My parents were together um, until they divorced between my junior and senior year of high school. Both my parents were also raised in Southern California and are also um, college educated. My dad, there he is, Glenn Campbell, not the singer. Uh, he was a businessman, owned his own businesses, didn't do too well. And my mom is, there she is, my mom, at my high school graduation, was a middle school teacher, uh, retired a, a bit ago. Um, so there was an emphasis on education, but at the same time, I will be honest, they never checked my homework and I wasn't the best student. Um, uh, and also, unfortunately, my brother and I, I have an older brother, uh, watched a lot of TV. I've probably seen every single episode of Saved by the Bell, to be honest. Kind of raised us. At the same time, we always sat down for dinner. Uh, my family thought it was really important that we sit down, we eat meals together, even though, yes, majority of the time, Wheel of Fortune or Jeopardy was playing while we ate. And if I'm completely honest with myself, uh, I would describe myself as lazy and moody. My mom likes to call me bitchy. It's great, thanks mom. Um, yet I'm childish, my friends say I'm a big kid, and really independent, I'm kind of an extroverted introvert where I need a lot of alone time, I'm definitely a lone wolf, but it's that theater person in me, I think. So it's kind of what came first. Um, I also crave human inter interaction and approval of others. Um, I'm the youngest not only in my family, I have an older brother, but in my extended family, here's my cousins and my grandpa, and there's me. Um, I was the youngest completely, so um, kind of part of that attention-seeking kind of probably comes from that as well. Uh, I also have, this, again, a lifelong pursuit of theater, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, um, but definitely that's given me an awareness of self, um, appearance, to be honest, and gender, as well as my ability to talk in front of crowds and uh, strangers kind of with ease. So my theater community is kind of that microsystem. Um, I joined my first singing group in kindergarten, kind of a dance mom's thing, I will be honest. Um, continued acting throughout elementary school. I think a lot about how that actually um, influenced my gender as I was wearing fake eyelashes as a seven-year-old. In high school, I fully embraced my theater nerd. Oh, this is younger. I was Steve Urkel for Halloween. Um, I fully embraced my high school theater nerd. Um, and really, thanks to, appropriately, All in Black, thanks to my theater crew there, my high school theater crew, um, I could kind of really become my true self. And so I thank them for really saving my life in a lot of ways. I then actually even continued pursuing theater. Um, again, the last 12 years since, high, for instance, college, I have been a professional puppeteer and performer. Here we are marching with Sam Adams in the Rose Parade. He's somewhere in there. Um, so my family, again, kind of kept up with the Joneses. They were, uh, being in Orange County, um, it was a close-knit community, but at the same time, you had to fit in. It was just expected. You were white. You were middle class. You had that white picket fence and 2.5 children. Growing up, also in the 80s, 90s, I uh, first the macro system, I never once saw or met a lesbian in my entire life. 
I like to actually talk about when Ellen DeGeneres came out in 1997 and what a big deal that was uh, for me, for so many people. Um, that actually hit in 1997 is when I was in junior high school, so right at puberty, and kind of figuring out my sexuality. And then to finally have not only a gay representative, but somebody who wasn't in that uh, mold of what I thought lesbians had to look like. That was kind of um, a really big deal as far as time and my upbringing. Another kind of thing as far as time, and I'm almost done, is uh, actually my senior year of high school is when 9-11 happened. And I can remember it uh, distinctly, like meant so many can. And something that was kind of interesting about that day, interesting, is it's the same day, actually, that my dad left our family. I kind of forgot that those two things happened at the same time. And I think about that a lot, and um, specifically as so many big world things happen, there's always the big world things as well as the personal things. We're all going through both things. And uh, you can't, you know, it's got to be a balance of both. And especially with children, like I said, I was in high school, I was 17 years old, and I still, I couldn't process it and those two things and how to balance that. So as I think of working with younger students, of always remembering that no matter what's happening every single day in the world, something else is also happening in here and in here as well. I'm sure I have so many more things, but that's me. Ask me any questions that you want. I'll show you some puppets later. All right, I did it. Six minutes.